Hey everyone, Ben I'm here again with the brand new set Chaos Impact. Uh, first edition box, obviously, because it's brand new. And uh, yeah, so we'll be opening this and reviewing its content right away. So this box is okay, I guess. Uh, it brings some um, support for Gladiator Beasts, which is an archetype that needed it to some extent. And uh, it's an archetype that some love, some hate, and some love to hate. Uh, I am one of the latter. Um, I didn't like them way back in the days because I didn't play them way back in the days, but I did enjoy the concept, and I do enjoy it now that it's not meta anymore. Uh, but whatever. Uh, there are also some new uh, cards for the mirror archetype, or the dream mirror, uh, joy, chaos, uh, joy and madness or whatever anyways there's some new support for that there's also the new archetype of the unchained uh which sounds pretty darn cool let's be honest and uh well there's more stuff in general for a lot of different things like cybers with the uh dark fluid uh firewall guy and the new marine cess support that uh came out as promos has come out in here with some other cards so let's just start right Away. We have Oneiros, the Dream Mirror Erkling, a fusion for the deck, and we have Tenyi Spirit Ashuna, and this is one Tenyi card that I really wanted to get because, honestly, Tenyis are what I want the most out of this. Uh, Tenyi Ashuna is basically the one that special summons from your deck, which is insane. The deck needed that to go further, and it just got it. And that's going to be a very, very powerful Tenny card, believe me, guys. Uh, for a rare, it's probably the best of the set, uh, rare-wise. Uh, otherwise, a lot of very good Ultras in this set. I think the best Unchained is an Ultra, and you have two Tenny Ultra monsters as well. Uh, a lot of the Dream Mirror cards are Supers, and you have a lot of Unchained cards as Secrets. That's basically what I remember. We have a very decent super right here, the Gizmek Yata, the Gleaming Vanguard. This will be good for a lot of decks, whether it be um, tribute summoning decks or uh, Cyber Dragons because it's a machine level 5 light that can easily special summon itself by tributing um, a monster that is on your field. So you normal summon a low level uh, Cyber Dragon card. You get your search, you get this, which, which is a level 5. So that's an easy infinity, so that's pretty cool. We have Marine Cess Mandarin, which is a very good way of going further in the Marine Cess combos. I love the Marine Cess cards. I really want to make the deck, but I just find it not um, safe enough. Like, you make the big boss, which is very nice, but then this card gets blown by your opponent, and you lose everything. Like, you literally just end up with a 2500 beat stick with nothing else going on. That's kind of sad. But it is a one-card combo, or a two-card combo, depending on the cases. So it's not that bad. You do have some other cards, usually. But, you know, it's kind of sad. Maybe maybe next wave of support, it'll be a little better. We have some Romage cards in here, and we have... IP Masterina, which is a card that a lot of people were looking forward to because it looks beautiful. We have a two non-link monsters for the materials, so pretty much any deck can make it. Uh, during your opponent's main phase, you can quick effect immediately link summon one link monster using materials you control, including this card. Uh, you can only use, use that once per turn. A link monster that uses this card as a material cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Very, very good card, depending on the situation. We have the um, Aromage card, Blessed Winds. And uh, yeah, but IP Mascarina, very good card depending on the situations. It's basically, uh, well, it's got the same concept as uh, TG Wonder Wand or uh, cards like that. Just special summoning during your opponent's turn. Very, very nice uh, to use your extra deck during your opponent's turn. We have Old Mind. Oh, this looks beautiful for the artwork. I like when the old cards just show up. That's cool. We have... We have Gorgon, Empress of the Evil-Eyed. There is new support for Evil-Eyed in this set, not just this card. There's also an equip spell, I believe, uh, which I got during the sneak peek right here. 
so yeah, this is cool. And uh, Evil Eyed do have a lot of potential. Uh, we have Dream Mirror um, Oneiromancy, which is a counter trap <laughs> that is insanely good. Honestly, it's a lot of worth, a lot of value for the deck. Next pack, we have Evil Eyed. Oh, wow, okay, I just showed you guys the card. We have Lady of the Beast United, which is honestly not a bad card. You get to special summon some GBs uh, during the battle phase as well because it's a quick play. So that's very prominent for the deck. You probably want to play at least one or two in the deck. Helps you go into your big fusions, make... Uh, uh, you use Bestiary to make Gizaris, pop some stuff during the battle phase, that's insane. And we have, ooh, we have a secret rare, Unchained Soul of Anguish. Beautiful looking red dog right here. He be mad, he be unchained. And we have Unchained Twins Rekia. Or Rakia, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. But um, the big guy right here, Link 3, is... I don't, I don't know if it's valuable or not, but it's... I think it's something you need in the deck. So I don't know, maybe $20 or something like that for the value of it at the moment. I'm not sure, but it's probably gonna end up being between 15 and 20 if it's that needed in the deck. I can't say I'm impressed by it, but I do have to say that I like it. And I like it a lot. And we have Galaxy Satellite Dragon. Something else that's in this set is a lot of support for dragon decks. But not just any dragon decks. We have support for level 8 summoning dragon decks. And we have support for um, the rockets. And that would be a very fun thing to pull. The rocket uh, ultra rare, I believe, the support is. But a lot of stuff for level 8 dragon summoning in this set, which is uh, for Chaos, actually. Chaos, level 8. So something very nice to look forward to. We have Dream Mirror, Ipnagolgia, and Tyrant Farm. Yeah, I know I'm a little far away from the camera. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but yeah, I do zoom in for the good stuff. That's for sure. It's just that... Last time I've had some difficulties with the uh, focus on the camera, so I opened a little further away nowadays. And ooh, this, this is a card that is worth your time if you open this set. Unchained Abomination, which is two plus monsters, including a Link monster. And this is generic, 3000 monster with Link 4. If a card on the field is destroyed by a card effect, except this guy, uh, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. When another monster is destroyed by battle, uh, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. During the end phase, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. So basically, summon this, end your turn, pop one, pop another. That's a pop two for a free easy to summon card. This can be summoned using scapegoat, guys. It's just stupid. <laughs> it's such a great ultra. Very happy to pull this with the Mascarina. We have Brutal Beast Battle for your beast decks, I believe. We have Boom Pauline. What? I don't remember this. Activate this card by choosing one unused monster zone. If an effect monster is special summon that, return both monster and that card. Oh, that's cool. Gimmicky. I like those cards. It's probably never going to be used in a meta deck, but gimmicky. Oh, wait. Upside down sleeve. No. There we go. Unchained Abomination. Very happy to see that. It's a card, probably the second most valuable card of the set, if not the most. And it's an ultra. That's insane. Konami, what are you doing? You're doing good stuff for once. We have Aroma Seraphi Sweet Marjoram. And we have Gladiator Beast Atorix. There it goes. Glad to see some more glad support. Yeah, I just had to say that. I'm sorry, guys. It's a poor quality joke. Anyways, looking for some Tenny action now. Or some valuable cards that I can trade in for store credit. We have Dream Mirror Phantasms. And we have Overburst Dragon for those rocket players. And it's not the good rocket card, but it's still a rocket card nonetheless. Uh, the good one is the Ultra, which is 
worth an insane amount for an ultra that is not even used in meta decks. Anyways, bye bye damage, and we have peaceful burial, and hop here, squ hop ear squadron. Oh yeah, right. This is a first edition box of the latest set, which means that we can pull one of those new secret rare foil things that are worth ridiculous amounts of money. Uh, that would be nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna pray for it, but you know that would be cool. We have Phantasmos, the Dream Mirror friend. Cute little puppy. Look at that. Cute little guy. And we have Nebula Dragon. A very decent level 8. Oh, another good secret rare in this set is the... Uh, I think it's Star Leech something? There's a level 4 Dragon card, which is secret rare. And a lot of people want that card. We have... Ooh, we have Suppression Collider. A normal Cybers monster with 2800 attack. How did that... Why? All that are crushed by this network warriors hammer is ir okay. Like, what's the what's the point of this card? Is there a good way to summon this and beat stick your way through to victory? Phantasol said the dream mirror foe. This is the evil version of the foil we just saw a little earlier. And honestly, they are good. They are very good for their uh, for their respective deck. You know, those two cards are very useful for the Dreamer archetype. And you will need more than one of each in your deck. So it being a super is very nice. We have Wailing of the Unchained Souls. If you link summon an Unchained Link monster, you can target one card in the field and blow it up. If this set card is destroyed by card effect, you can special summon one Unchained monster from your deck. That is nice. And we have, oh, we have... Uh, the sneak peek card as a rare. Okay, so fewer chances of getting the ultra uh, tangy stuff that I want, but Unchained do have high potential, so not complaining at all. And we still have at least two foils higher than super that we should expect. We have Aromage, uh, Aromage, Laurel. And Marine says Crystal Heart, which is a super that I did want, so I am glad to see it. Play one of these in the deck and you're fine. This is good because this helps you go into a um, unaffected big monster. Uh, you know, that's not bad. You kind of want it to happen. But if you're playing against the deck, you don't want it to happen. No siree. Next pack, we have, again, that common, uh, okay, Gorgon again, and Mandarin again. Okay, we should see the secret pretty soon. I believe it was about in the middle of the first uh, batch, so it should be, yep, here we are, Salmon Grade Pyro Phoenix. Uh, can't say I'm happy to see this one, but I'm not mad either. Uh, we have Spiritual Entanglement, which looks like a fun card. Huh. Anyways, uh, Selling Great Pyro Phoenix. Uh, yeah, can't say I'm too happy because it's not a card that a lot of people were interested in at first. And I will be honest with you guys, I don't find it that great. 2 plus Fire Effect Monsters. If this card is linked summon using Phoenix as a material, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. That's nice, but it's a, it's a link 4. So you won't be doing that on turn two. You'll be doing that a little further because usually turn your first turn as a Salmon Great player is protection or negation at least. Uh, anyways, uh, once per turn, you can target one Link Monster in your opponent's graveyard and special summon it to your opponent's field. If a Link Monster is special summoned to your opponent's field, you can target one of those monsters and inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. So it's a burn effect, but it's it's gonna give your opponent a link monster no matter what, which is kind of disappointing. If it could at least blow it up, that would be nice. What does it blow it up? Did I just misread it? Mm -hmm. No, it's literally just burn. Kind of disappointed in that. Salmon Great don't want the opponent to have a big link on their field. So I guess you'll put the small one, 
but the small one doesn't help you either. Anyways, Monster Express. As a rare. At first, when Monster Express was revealed, I was a little hyped because I really like trains. The, 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 the uh, art type, not the actual trains. I do enjoy trains, but I'm not a big fan. Anyways, uh, but you know, this does not have much to do with trains, so I was a little disappointed. Dream Mirror again. And Jelly Cannon. When a monster declares an attack target, one monster on the field and shuffle it into the deck. That is a good rare. <laughs> that is a, a mean rare. I imagine people playing this in a budget build of Paleozoics. Literally just return whatever the opponent had into the deck, and you get a Paleo on the field. Win-win condition. Nice. Make your frog next turn and... They won't be able to summon anything. Next pack, we have Mimikuril. Cute little thing. We have, oh, we have Draco, Masters of the Tenyi, which sadly enough makes me a little disappointed because that's what I pulled at the sneak peek and you really just need one of them in the deck. Two is okay, but I would have liked getting the, um, the Synchro monster. That would have been nice. Anyways, I'll take it. And we have Unchained Twins Reikia again. Eh, okay, I'll take it. At least, please, let's pull the rare Tenny card again. Like, one is not enough. But yeah, okay, overall, overall the foils aren't bad. I mean, we've, we've got two great late monsters here. We've got a decent Unchained Secret. And we have a Tenny Ultra. We have, oh, we have a second, um... Gizmek, Yata, so that's kind of cool. And we have Solomon Great Transcendence, uh, which is, it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's like the field spell, but as a quick play. I mean, it's, it's okay. If you do it during the battle phase, that's a bonus attack for you, I guess. And maybe a good effect. Or if you used your field spell to make uh, your Sunlight Wolf to get the bonus effect, but then you make Pyro Phoenix, you can still use this to make a second Pyro Phoenix, blow everything up and profit. But you know, that's going pretty far for so little. Unchained Twins Aruha. Soul Levy and final pack. Whew. Come on, special prismatic secret thing. Come on, come on. Nope, it's the super. And the tyrant farm. Wow, not even more than one of the 10 yeast uh, rare, which is kind of sad, honestly. It's our first rare and we only pulled one. Uh, but we did get a lot of the uh, unchained rares and jelly cannon, which is actually pretty fun. What is this? Target one phase of monster opponent controls, banish until the end phase. That's kind of cool. We have some marine cess, we have some dream mirror and gladiator beasts in uh, high quantity, that's for sure. But that's kind of to be expected. But yeah, I mean, two of the water, one of the fire, that's kind of okay. And But this, this only one is kind of sad. I would have wanted more, you know? Uh, but it's, it's, it's fine. I, I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. I won't be mad about that. Uh, we have two yadas. We have one crystal heart, I believe. And we have one of each of the level 4 Dream Mirror cards. Uh, the rest is meh. I mean, this is good, but you don't need f 5 of them. Or I, I think we pulled 3. Yeah, we, we you don't need 3. 3 is okay, but you don't need 3. I don't remember what this does exactly, but I think we pulled 2. So that's fine, I guess. Uh, only one of the Equip Spell, though. And only one of the Galaxy Satellite Dragon. And I think this is not a bad card for that archetype, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, whatever. The supers are okay, in my opinion. For the ultras, we got some good stuff. We got the best ultra of the set. We got the second best ultra of the set. We got a 10 year ultra, which is always nice. And we got Wailing of the Unchained Souls, which is good for Unchained. And Unchained are going to be a fan favorite. Not sure if they're going to be meta right away, but they're going to be fan favorites, that's for sure. For our secrets, we were okay. We did, we did okay. 
Uh, Pyro Phoenix is a nice little thing to add to the Salmon Grade collection, and Unchained Soul of Anguish is nice, that's for sure. Uh, so yeah, overall, not a bad box. Uh, if you guys have any interest in Gladiator Beast or Tenyi or Unchained, I would recommend this set. If you have interest in Salmon Grade or Marine Cess, I would recommend buying individual cards. Probably the same thing for Tenyi, honestly. Uh, individual cards should be a lot less expensive in the quantities you need. This is going to be like, what, a dollar each? Maybe less? I'm not sure. In the end, not at the release price. Uh, so yeah, Salmon Great, Marine Cess, Tenyi, much cheaper to buy individually, but Unchained, they will be expensive at first for sure. And uh, for the Marine Cess, we didn't pull the one secret rare that I really wanted, which was Blue Tang. That's going to be an expensive one, guys. I am warning you, Blue Tang will be expensive, but it is not needed for the deck to work. It's just a good enabler. It's a very good enabler, don't get me wrong, it's an excellent enabler, but you don't need it. Uh, anyways, so this concludes this uh, video. I hope you guys go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vid. I know I did. And until next time, guys, it has been a pleasure. And Panem out. Yeah.